Uh, <laughs> it wasn't really that much fun this morning, but and I'll tell you why. I got lots of snow yesterday during the evening when I was driving, and uh, I was careful already how I was parking in there, but uh, it's not a uh, not a paved parking lot up there, you know. And uh, so there was lots of snow and ice on the on the gravel. Uh, Take the entrance to the there as well, you know. And, uh, went to get going and uh, it wouldn't roll. <laughs> At first I figured, well, must be my bricks must be frozen. Eh? So I went and checked and sure enough, one was frozen on the trailer, but uh, all the other ones weren't. At least that I could tell, they weren't frozen. But I still couldn't move. every one of them breaks and I still couldn't move it wouldn't let me move so I sort of sort of was stuck there for a little bit but hey we got out of there now so here we are rolling again Maybe about half an hour to get out of there but hey now we're moving and uh, I think what happened was uh, because my tires were hot it melted the ice underneath a little bit and my truck everything fell a little bit so I was a little bit in a meters. hole eh? take the entrance to the left and on highway took, 400 north highway 69 took me north some Sunbury. walking back and forth and I locked up the differentials and take the entrance to the left on highway 400 north highway 69 north Sunbury and uh, finally out of rocking back and forth I finally got her out of there but uh, it took some time but Nothing we couldn't handle, right? At least we got out of there with no problem. Well, no problem, but we got out of there without having to hire a tool truck or asking anybody else to uh, pull us out of there, you know? But, uh, I made sure that all of them wheels are turning on the trailer and tractor before I got going. So we don't uh, have that kind of problem down the road, you know? But, uh, yeah, so here we are. Back on the road, as you probably saw last night, all the snow that we got that was just over the last couple of weeks. And uh, I guess it, we can never be careful enough, I suppose, to try and prevent you getting stuck, you know. But I already even uh, drove back and forth a couple of times there last night, night before I completely stopped it, you know, because I was worried about that, you know. Oh well, we are out of there and back on the road. We'll see how the, the roads are today. Yesterday night they were really slippery, really a lot of ice on the road. And so we'll see. We'll see what uh, what kind of roads we get today. No, my pants and everything is wet, but hey, it will dry. Put the heat on a little bit higher and eventually I'll get right up, right? Yeah, so anyways, we'll keep on rolling and uh, we'll see what the day brings us and uh, you guys will be here to watch it. We are still in Ontario on Highway 17 between South St. Marie and Wawa, Ontario. As we come over this big hill, you'll see the big lakes up there on the left. This is the same scenery that I filmed a little while ago. Uh, whatever a couple of weeks maybe a month ago and I put some music in there and it looks completely different now yep yep definitely I had somebody on uh, on my channel there uh, make a comment there uh, about my music and uh, I thank you guys for bringing it up I am working on putting some new music in in my uh, videos now we have found some new uh, stuff that I'm working on right now so thanks for bringing it up and uh, I will be putting some different music in there now that's for sure I uh, did some research on it and I found that uh, 
YouTube actually offers you to uh, download some uh, music or some songs or whatever to uh, to use for your own YouTube videos purposes. So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to use that music, and so we'll have some more uh, more different kind of music, more options and stuff like that. So it'll be. Speed warning. More interesting to you guys as my viewers. If you like something different, we'll try and create something different. Uh, I just didn't know uh, where to look at the, at the beginning and I didn't really do a lot of research on it anyway, so but now I did and now I have discovered some new stuff, so we'll be working on that and uh, hopefully we can make the, uh, the show interesting for you guys. Because it's all about you guys, viewers, as the viewers. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't exist, right? So, uh, with that, yeah, to enjoy the ride. And uh, I expect to be in Nipagon tonight. Uh, we'll see if that will turn out to be the case. But uh, that's the goal, anyways, for today. And uh, we'll spend the night over there. And then we'll be home again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday, so it seems like I've been getting home every Saturday, so uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. That's the way I would like it, every Saturday to be home, you know. Get home every Saturday afternoon, be home on Sunday, go out again on Monday. I'll have a good uh, good trip. I'll probably have about 3,100 miles in this week, which is a good trip for me. I, I like trips like that. That's just perfect. That way you don't need to watch your hours of service, you know. Well, you still have to be following the law, right? But uh, with 3,100 miles, it's uh, it's just perfect. I don't have to be uh, worried about getting over my 70-hour period, you know? And the other thing is, too, if I get home every Saturday, well, that works out perfectly uh, with taking a reset, right? Because I can only take one reset a week uh, in the United for the United States. Uh, so that works out perfectly. So I'll be every every time. That would be uh, Sunday, you know, would be my seventh day. So uh, so that works out perfectly. That way I can take a reset and go again, you know. But uh, yeah, so enjoy the ride. And uh, I don't think I'll be uh, putting the the camera up on the mirror. At least not this trip, probably, because uh, the roads are a little bit wet and stuff like that. So. Uh, Every time I meet a truck or whatever, uh, it's getting a lot of crap on my on my windshield, a lot of dirt. So I don't think it would do very very much good uh, putting the camera up there because as soon as I meet a truck, uh, the the cover would get all dirty and stuff like that. It would be it wouldn't be a very good view. So I'll keep it inside here for now. If all of a sudden we get a nice clear day, maybe tomorrow the roads will be dry. If that's the case, then I might do that again, but, uh, yeah, we'll just keep on rolling and rolling, and we'll see what the rest of the day will bring us, and, uh, we'll see you then, I suppose. Well, I just, uh, finished, uh, doing a, uh, circle check up here, check my, uh, heater unit, I got a heater unit in the truck, uh, we're on the, on the trailer there, to keep the stuff, uh, warm in there. So I just uh, finished doing that up there and uh, clean my lights and put more windshield washer fluid in there. So uh, yeah, so here we are, uh, pretty much ready to go here. I just figure I shoot a little bit of video up here, but uh, yeah, it's starting to get dark out here. So I figure I clean my lights. It's been driving in all the salt and slush all day long, so they were really super dirty. So with that, we'll get going here and uh, we'll be back later. Well, good evening, good evening. I am back. I have made it as far as Terrace Bay, Ontario for the day. And I'm calling it a day. I got uh, <clears throat> just over half of the kilometers in that I need to do till I get home anyways. So I figured, you know what? Why drive so many miles today and then and have less tomorrow I figure yeah split it up it's dark here already and it's pretty windy up here so I figured you know what I am tired I just 
call it a day and be done with it. We'll continue on tomorrow with our journey and we'll be home tomorrow afternoon, I think. We'll probably get up pretty early tomorrow then and then, uh, well, we'll take our 10 hour break and then, uh, and then we'll be back on the road again tomorrow morning. So, so yeah, I guess uh, that's about it for today. So if you haven't uh, already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and also like the button and share the video if you uh, enjoyed the video. I'm sure if you enjoyed it, uh, many other people would enjoy it as well. So uh, with that, let's get, uh, get to bed and I guess we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thank you.